Hello, welcome to Einstein Mechanics. In today's episode, we are going to solve a problem relating to stress and strain. Let's check out the question. A block of wood is tested in direct shear using loading frame and test specimen shown in the figure. The load P produces shear in the specimen along plane AB. The height of plane AB is 50 millimeters and its weight perpendicular to the plane of the drawing is also 100 mm. If the load P is 16 kilonewton, what is the average shear stress in the wood? Are we okay? So, this is like an experiment we want to conduct. We have a testing frame. Here we are going to use, this is a frame where we use to test shear of materials. So we have a specimen, we have a wood, and we want to test how shear stress is going to be produced in this wood. So we put it inside a testing frame in order to test for shear now we know that shear stress occurs along a particular region or a particular place of what intersection so we can see that this part or this part represent what the wood and there is a force p acting on one side of the wood this is where we call ab the plane ab and we can see that the plane AB is just lying along a certain region. So, first let's write down some parameters. We are given that the height of the plane AB is given as 50 mm, which is 0 0.05 meters, right? And we also have the width because looking at the question it said its width perpendicular to the drawing is 100 so we have a certain width that is going to be 100 mm and that is 0 0.1 m if the load we have a certain load which is our force or our load p is also giving us 16 kilo Newton. We are to find the average shear stress. So we are looking for average shear stress as this. We don't know that. So first we can draw the free body diagram of this problem. You shouldn't see this as a very big one. Just understand the statement. We are just interested in testing the shearing ability of this wood in a test frame are we okay so inside the frame as you can see from the diagram this is indicating the testing frame and inside it is the wood so the wood is of interest to us so our free body diagram is going to be the wood so i can draw the wood this way as this so this is the wood and we have a force p acting on it can we see that so this is the force p assisting kilo newton we also have the height from the diagram we can see that this is the height which is 50 mm and this place is the plane ab so the joint here is a and this part is our b and we are also given that the weight perpendicular to the drawing is 100 mm. So if the height is 50, then the weight from the place of shearing to the other end here is going to be what 100 mm. Do we see that? So it says we should calculate the average shear. From the diagram, where do we think shearing can take place? It's along plane AB, right? The force here 
will share this part. Let me call this part as two, this part as one. It's like I'm dividing the shape into two. When you apply this compressive force downwards, it is likely to share the part two at the surface AB. It's going to slide it on this surface. Is that true? So we are interested in the shearing occurring at plane AB. And we know that our shearing force or shearing stress, so shear average is giving us the shear force on the shear area. Area. Let me call the area of shear. Are we okay? So here we have the force given, which is also our load. And we also have the area. From this, can we calculate any area? The second plane is just looking at like this. So we know the height should be 0 0.05. We know the width as 0 0.1. This is a rectangular shape, right? So meaning our area, our shear area is going to be the length times what? The width. So that we can get the shear area. Therefore, our shearing stress is going to be the load, which is 16,000 Newton on the area. The length, 0 0.1 times the width, which is 0 0.05. And with this, we are going to get our shear average to be 3.2 mega Pascal. Or oh, the shear average is going to be 3.2 mega newton per meter square. So this is our final answer. Sometimes when you are given a question, don't be scared. Just read through the question, analyze it, and get the understanding. Do you see that? So seeing the diagram alone, you may think all the testing frames are going to take part in the solution. But once you read and you get the understanding, you will see that it is just a test specimen. So what is the specimen that is being tested? That specimen is of interest. Do you get it? And it says a block of wood is tested. So now we have to locate the wood, right? Which is what? The test specimen. Now, looking at the diagram, they are also giving us a clue on the test frame therefore inside it we are going to have the wood we are also given another clue that the specimen is along a plane AB and here too we have the plane AB given so with all those parameters it is likely for you to understand and also get the meaning always stick to your formula shear force or shear area how they relate to each other and you are good to go this was a very simple one please subscribe to the channel share the video and drop your comments see you in the next episode thank you